film poster comparisons. You are as precious to me as you were to your own mother and father. I swore to them that I would protect you, and I haven't. The mayor's gonna dump him in the spring. Really? Mm-hmm. But he's a hero, a war hero. This is peacetime. You think this can last? There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. better batten down the hatches. Because when it hits, you're all gonna wonder how you ever thought you could live so large and leave so little for the rest of us. What does that mean? Rise. permission to die. Dark Knight comparison. The trailer and the poster use the same conventions as each other, as both of them use a very dark colour scheme. As the trailer does like, have a mixture of bright colours and dark colours, as behind Batman in the poster you see the giant bat symbol in the sky, which makes Batman stand out a lot more. But Batman is very dark, so he's silhouet silhouetted against the sky. This is similar to the trailer in terms of conventions. As a lot of the trailer is very dark, there are not many bright colours in the trailer. Only real, you know, the only real bright colours are the explosions that go on, you know, that take place in the trailer, which gives it some form of colour. The general colours of the trailer are very monotone, meaning they are very bleak, and the explosions connote that there's going to be the like, action, and you know, it's going to connote that the film's going to contain. Like action sequences, violence and suspense. Another convention that the poster shares with the trailer is the style of writing used. As in the trailer, the text used to show details are in bold, white, straightforward text. To make it stand out against the background because you you know they're contrasting colours. So this connects to the poster, as in the poster the it also contains this kind of font, which makes it more easy for the audience to read. So it pops out against like for the reader's eyes to look at. Another similarity of the poster and the trailer is that at the end of the trailer there's a shot of the camera facing upwards to the buildings. And um and the background you see and this connects with the poster because in the background of you see in the poster you see the image of the bat symbol like made by like made by old buildings. This reinforces the fact that, the, that Batman is the main character in this film and that the film is going to revolve around Batman rising from the ashes. Also the same theme is used with both the trailer and the poster as both, word, as both of them use the word rise in like their tagline to show that Batman is risen or rising from the ashes. Uh, on top of the poster, uh, the tagline, it says, a fire will rise. And in the trailer, it also gives the same message of rise. So this connects with the fact that Batman has to rise from, you know, falling down, from becoming like a vigilante. As 
one thing you should know about me. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. You're talking about dreams? Mr. Carl has a job offer he would like to discuss with you. What kind of work placement? Not exactly. We create the world of the dream. We bring the subject into that dream, and they fill it with their secrets. Then you break in and steal it. Well, it's not strictly speaking legal. It's called Inception. Already. I think I found a way home. And this last job, that's how I get there. Dreams feel real while we're in them. It's only when we wake up that we realize something is actually strange. This is your responsibility! We are not prepared for this! The dream's collapsing. I have it under control. I need to see out of control. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. Inception, comparison, the trailer and the poster. One of the main common conventions that both the poster and the trailer share is that they both use mind-bending CGI effects to create interest in the film. And also, both they both sh like have seen that like, show that like, both show the scene in the po like from the trailer, which is in the movie. It's used to show what the film is going to be about, so like the general plot. Like for example the Paris scene where you see DiCaprio and the girl sitting down and suddenly all these things start happening like the fruit explode and you see the, the clock and the, the when the world bends. When they are in the dream showing you know, what the dream is going to be like. As in the poster you see at the top, top of the poster the cars are on the ceiling to find the impossible. The general colour scheme of the poster is similar to that of the trailer. Except maybe, like the, which is the main difference between the trailer and the poster, is um, it's like the colour scheme. But also colours such as black and white or and like grey are used in the trailer. This connotes that you know mystery and like it's mysterious, and the plot is going to be you know very unknown and complex. Because in the poster, there's a lot of dust and fog. Which can infer that the plot is going to be complex to people, or that it's going to feature, you know, going to be a mystery. Another similarity between the trailer and the poster is that they both feature DiCaprio as their main character of the film. This is because in the trailer, most of the shots have DiCaprio and his face in them, and um, like, and it's his voice narrating in the back, showing that the plot revolves around him trying to get home. And um, that this is his last job. And in the poster, DiCaprio is one of the only characters to be facing towards the camera, not having his back, you know, facing towards the camera. So you can only see his face, you can't see any of the other characters' faces. So you do not know who they are, and this infers that, you know, that he's important and the other's not because he's facing towards the camera. And he's looking up, so you automatically know that he is you know, Leonardo DiCaprio and he's the main character. And also it shows, you know, it also creates more hype for the film because Leonardo DiCaprio is like an A-list celebrity actor. Meaning that, you know, if they see, if the audience see Leonardo DiCaprio on the poster, they will be, you know, you know, they would want to go and see the movie because they would like to see a like, DiCaprio film because they 
you know, he's done some really good films such as Titanic or, you know, The Great Gatsby. So, for him being on the poster and being the centre of the trailer makes it so people will want to go and see this movie. We designed them to be trusted with our homes. With our way of life. With our world. But did we design them? to be trusted. The rollout of USR's new generation of robot, the NS5, was marred by the death of designer Alfred Lanning. Identify. Murder's a new trick for a robot. Respond. I did not murder him! We're gonna miss the good old days. What good old days? When people were killed by other people. My robots don't kill people. That thing threw somebody out of a window. Is that registering with you? A robot cannot harm a human being. And you trust them if you want to. We look to robots for protection. Imagine the loss of all that we've gained because of an irrational paranoia. Does thinking you're the last sane man on the face of the earth make you crazy? Because if it does, maybe I am. Maybe you can be looking in the shadows all the time. on the inside. Help me find out what is wrong with these robots. Dr. Lanning suggested robots might naturally evolve. I was hoping to see you again, Detective. Think of me as your friend. Why didn't you just hand the world over on a silver platter? Maybe we did. We are on the eve of the largest robotic distribution in history. There will be one robot to every five humans. How many robots have ever committed a crime? How many robots in the world? None. There is no conspiracy. What this is, is one mistake! Oh, hell no! Come on! Somehow, I told you so, just doesn't quite say it. Get off my car! See, you remain suspicious of me, detective. You know what they say about old dogs? Not really. Gotcha. I robot comparison. The I robot poster and trailer have many similarities, like for example the main color scheme of the trailer and both the poster. They are both white and grey, very very monotone, and um, this creates suspense as the only area in the poster that has many bright colors is at the centre of the page where the explosion is happening. This um, this creates this infers violence and creates interest in the film as when people see this part of the poster they can infer that you know it's gonna be really exciting because you know you're not gonna have explosions and people running if like, from them in a boring like rom com or something like that. This is what the audience want from a thriller film. This is another similarity between the poster and the trailer as uh because like you know it has a the trailer also has a lot of violence in it which shows and it also another similarity because you know most most of the colors in both the poster and the trailer are very monotone very like gray and white but when the violence happens there's explosions there's car accidents which you know make it all a bit more colorful a bit more exciting another similarity of the film poster is the emphasis on will smith as the main character this because he is centered, he is pictured many times in the poster. So um, his face is on there multiple times. This is to create hype for the film as Will Smith is a very recognisable actor like Leonardo DiCaprio. So it attracts people to still see the film because they want people to go and see the film and they want people to know that Will Smith is, itch, is in the film. Both the poster and the trailer do this. In, like, as the trailer has most of the shots are about Will Smith and his, you know, hatred of robots. Another similarity between the poster and the trailer is they both emphasise on action. As in the poster, you see, you know, like Smith holding a gun, riding a motorbike, driving a fast car, etc. <coughs> and these are very like action hero kind of, you know, things to do. 
and um, you know, and the same thing goes in the trailer. As you see many action shots, him doing stunts and fighting robots off with guns and just him running from explosions. But the difference between the poster and the trailer is the trailer's emphasis on the robots, whereas the poster shows more of the humans, you know, like Will Smith and the woman, because it more emphasizes around the trailer more gets into your head about the robot side of it, you know, the, the three laws of robotics and just shows you all the robots, you know, hurting people and killing people. Whilst on the poster, it's more human and people can relate to it a bit more because you see humans on it and not robots. None that there's actually going to be people in it and they're going to be the main characters. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody for a psycho behavioral profile. Could be a real help in unsolved cases. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. I want you to go after him again to Danny Asylum. And who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. What a naughty boy he is. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? This one likes to skin his humps. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate yours. I'll help you catch him, Larry. Tell me what you see. Ortiz, he's got real physical strength, combined with an older man's you know, self-control. He's, he's cautious, precise, and he's never impulsive. He'll never stop. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? Repeat, Lecter's missing and armed. Science of the Lambs comparison. The Science of the Lambs, you know, there are many similarities between the Science of the Lambs poster and trailer. Like, um, like one example is the focus of on death. Because of, um, you know, you see in the poster the imagery of the moth on the girl's face, which is also used in the trailer. As you see Buffalo Bill putting that, like the moth down the girl, the, you know, the dead body's neck. And this connects with the actual plot of the film. And this, um, this also this creates suspense as you know death is like, really suspenseful and that's what the audience would want from a thriller film also the color scheme of the poster and the trailer are very similar like for example white and black that are used like, at the end of the trailer and for the title and credits of the poster but a difference can be you know the color of the titles that like, are both the poster and the trailer you know they are very different in the poster the title is red like in a different font whereas in the trailer at the end of the trailer the title is you know in black and white background you know to make it stand out whereas you know you know this is might have been done to different differentiate the poster and the trailer so they can be seen as different and you know unique in their own way so they're attracted to both one the audience is attracted to both one and the other and the poster is more about grabbing your eye because you know that that's what they want that's you know what you know producers of this film they want the audience to do they want their eyes to be attracted to the name of the film so they know what the film is going to be about whereas the trailer you know people would already know from watching the trailer and they want the producers want the like, audience to you know just watch the trailer and know that's the science of the lambs and just focus on what's happening in the trailer instead of you know the name of the film it says, um, like for example, it says from terrifyingly, at the top, under the title in the poster, it says from 
in quotes from the in terrifyingly bestseller. This is from like a book reference because it, um, it's an ad ad adaptation from a book. This is used to draw the audience in as people would not, would, who have read the book would know what the film is going to be like. And so they would like to be, so they would be persuaded to come and see and what, you know, it would be like on camera instead of just reading it. And also persuades people who haven't read the book to see the film because, you know, that what they, when they look at the tag, tagline, they can infer that it's going to be a scary and good film because... You know, it's a bestseller, and if they haven't read the book, and they don't want to read the book, they want to see the film, just because it's easier. And if they see it's a terrifyingly bestseller, they know that a lot of people are going to that have enjoyed this already. I think I might go and see it myself, which creates like a lot of hype for the film and makes more people go and see it. The poster includes Jodie Foster's face in it. This can infer that she is going to be the main character of the film. Which connects with the trailer, as it you know revol revolves around her trying to find the killer, and just proving that she is more than just a female trainee and trying to you know get across those gender and sexuality boundaries. And with the help of Hannibal Lecter, she's able to find it and prove all those people who said she can't do it wrong. But a difference between the trailer and the poster is that the poster does not emphasize mo that much on um on the plot it's just more like it just it's like a symbol instead of you know telling you what the plot is going to be about because the poster just features a, like Jodie Foster's face and the moth which doesn't tell you a lot about the film which creates suspense because people would like to know what the film's going to be about be about where the trailer just gives like tells you a brief background or what the plot is briefly going to be about and um, yes so this has been Toil Productions this is my comparison of film posters and tra trailers for my research for my ancillary tasks thank you for watching